Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and it's time for Demir Control. We are going to try to completely shut down our opponent using only the colors of black and blue, but then we're going to have all kinds of land types in the deck for reasons. Let me show you what I mean. A big reason that I have hope for blue and black is Teferi, Temporal Pilgrim. Without question, this card has become a lot of the win con and take over the game material that I'm looking for. And blue-black just didn't have anything to turn to that way before. It had to rely on things like Hullbreaker Horror, and I'm just not about that life. But with Teferi, we can definitely get down a Planeswalker and protect it in classic control style. Then, on top of that, we have a copy of Shieldred, because if drawing cards is good let's get all the triggers we can so we're gonna play that card in the deck but what about a sweeper how do we actually keep our opponents from completely running us over how do we punish people who try to play four or five creatures in the early turns the answer i have to that comes from dominaria united in drag to the bottom for two and a black black sorcery each creature gets minus x minus x until end of turn where x is one plus the number of basic land types among lands that you control now it's not new information a lot of you are aware that the are there are types on the cycling lands but did you know that the cycling lands produce blue and black two different ones of them interesting in fact if you only have an island and a swamp this is still a minus three minus three for four mana not completely terrible and will kill most of what the soldier decks are trying to do but Throw in a Rafine's Tower, and it's a Languish. Minus four, minus four. Throw in a Xander's Lounge and a Rafine's Tower. Rafine's Lounge, R Rafine's Lounge, Xander's Tower, wh whatever. Uh, and you get minus five, minus five. I even threw in a Jet Mirror Garden because this one land covers the three types that the non-basics don't have. It's basically like a colorless land in our deck that we can cycle to get the extra types. So maybe there's a world where dragging to the bottom for six like against, I don't know, a flipped the Kami War or something is relevant. We do sometimes have that in the deck. It's a little cute. You definitely don't have to do it. I'm going to do it. It's totally a five head play. Trust me. And now that we have a little bit of domain action in our two color deck, I'm going to run one copy of Sphinx of Clear Skies, a card that I still think deserves a little bit of attention, is very threatening, is very hard to deal with. And when it hits our opponent, we get to basically draw some cards if we have a number of different types, which this deck will often have because we have nine of these cycling lands. The other fun part, though, is that you can cycle them. And when you draw cards with Teferi on the board, you gain loyalty. If you draw cards with Teferi and a Teferi Spirit token on the board, you gain power, toughness, and loyalty. So it gets better and better, which is why running a bunch of cycling lands isn't as high a cost as it looks. Throw on a Silver Scrutiny, and they go to the moon. It's beautiful. The rest of the deck is a combination of cards to keep us alive, with Cut Down and Go for the Throat playing leading roles, Dissipate being a counter spell of choice because I do want to exile things. This deck is not great at exiling things. And The Life of Toshiro Umazawa, a saga I'm running four of because I need to keep my life total high and hold off opponents who've come out with blazing fast starts and one toughness creatures. Thalia in particular is very fun to kill with the life of Toshiro Umazawa and the memory of Toshiro if it gets that far if we flip it if we get to use it for mana is a great way to get an extra pips extra hits on your silver scrutinies just a little more mana at the top so I really like the life of Toshiro Umazawa specifically in Demir to bridge the gap before you cast your big drag to the bottom especially in a deck with all these tap lands that's gonna introduce the deck but I have found it very powerful I think that this is a deck you can can rank with. So watch the videos and make that judgment for yourself. Leave me a comment what you think of it. Let's dive in. Let the Demir nonsense begin. All right, on the draw, we go for throats. We drag things to the bottom. Should be fun. Mountain go, but they have play with fire. Nothing else holds priority that way. And they have an Iconoclast, which has to die. We could wait and drag it to the bottom. But odds are that they're playing some kind of a tempo-y, is it -y thing. There is, of course, the challenge that if they play Fable, we're going to really wish we'd held the go for the throat. But they might also run cards like Spell Pierce. I think we just have to kill it. And hope our draw gets a little better that we have something useful to do next turn and that they don't get too perfectly aggressive. Swift Spear. Land. 
Delver? Okay. They have a spell pierce. We're in big trouble. Are they a spell pierce type of deck? They reveal a lightning strike. Yeah, they don't need too much time, do they? Oh, Reckless Impulse? Okay. Conoclast Lightning Strike, why not? Just gonna fire this off for one right now. I think if we survive into the late game, we don't have to worry about having a billion cards in hand. Drag them. See if they can come up with another land. Okay, they do. They're still in this. We still think they have a play with fire because of priority. So let's keep dragging them until they have no creatures. Here comes the scry to the top. Must be a creature. They always need to have a creature going. Yep, there it is. So, no spot removal means we drag again, I think. But we do get to get the Celestis down. Just keep the creature off the board to the best of our ability. We have a lot of removal, we just need time to draw it. Impulse, do they find another creature? They do. They do. Why wouldn't they? All right, we fall to 11. We're probably going to activate Celestis and use Scrutiny this turn. Hopefully finding a removal spell when we do. And we'll do this now. So we have a good selection of cards to discard. No removal spell. No removal spell. Ugh. Life of Toshiro Umazawa could be interesting, though. It at least gains us back some life. <laughs> life, yeah. So you're going to unload those lightning strikes here, opponent? They probably have two. If they have three, they just win. Can't wait to feel that. But they didn't double spell, so I don't get a Celestis trigger. Okay. But we're okay. We really want to double spell, so there's the life. Gain two. Teferi. Meek a creature. I'm finished running from battles I might not win. Gain a life draw? Uh, I know, we could just hold up Dissipates. Trust me, it's not the winning experience you think it is. But adding loyalty to those Teferis feels nice. And gaining that life might be huge. Otawara, take out the spirit, okay? Can they deal three to Teferi? They're not gonna bother trying. Oh, they changed their mind. Ah, who taught you your manner? All right, looks like we're definitely in this. Drag, just kill their stuff, man. If you kill their stuff, what can they do? Not much. Okay, opponent doesn't want to see where it goes. We're going to gain two life here. We're going to drag their swift spear. We're going to make another 2-2. Two -two. We're going to silver scrutiny. We're going to draw so many cards. Today's Patreon shout out goes out to actually Teferi. Act like really? Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> I didn't expect this. I'm... Nice to meet you. I'm a big fan of your work, actually, Teferi. I can't believe you like me too. It means so much to me. If you would like a shout out in a video, then please check out patreon.com slash covert go blue. And you can also find other tiers and sweet benefits as well. Actually, Teferi, you're very cool. Now back to the video. All right, we go first. We have removal spells. We have lands. We've got this.
Hmm. If they play a Thalia, we can't go for the throat anyway. Let's get the other tapped land out of the way. They'll also just throw them for a loop, seeing how five color we are. And there's Thalia. Why would people play other cards? Worst card we could possibly draw, negate. Okay, the Adeline's gotta die. There we go. Always wanted to draw one of these against Athalia. Oh! I didn't know it would be that good. Wow. I... I, I think they hate getting owned by that card or something. All right, the opponent's going first. So we've got removal. Let's hope it can get there. We only have one source of black, so things might be funky. I think I have to lead on this, but that looks great against the life of Toshiro Umazawa. Maybe you've got another one toughness creature for me? Never, m okay, what's that do? Now they get treasure? Sure. And a 1-3 Ward 2 Life Prowess. Kill it. I actually get a card from that too. My goodness. Just put draw a card on everything, right? That's what makes magic great. All right, at least they only attacked me for one and then they played another. So I'll gain two life. Play this. Do I kill one of these now? They're missing a land drop. We need another land before we can drag to the bottom though. I think we do this now. Oh, the your ghost spam. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you bored that your mono red deck didn't win the game fast enough? I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, opponent. There's nothing I'll actually enjoy more than making them miserable. Eleven. All right, we still need another black mana, but the memory of Toshiro can make it. So we'll sit around with dissipate here. Wow, strangle, huh? Well, let's protect. Oh, they're impatient. It's so cute. Okay, two more creatures. The poor little baby is so upset. All right. Um, do we need to play this now? We're only taking one from the chick and our opponent's going to play a 2-3 creature next turn. I think we can wait. Let's gain the life instead. And then this turn, up upcoming, we can drag to the bottom. Ooh. Hmm? Okay, I see. Yep, see, we're only taking one. Then we untap and we gain two more life, and we drag to the bottom. Wait, how much is drag right now? Five. Okay, we can't save Toshiro from it. Hmm. Ah. Feast on their tears. Poor mono red mage. And the game is taking so long. It's not fair. The blue decks and all their thinking and stuff. <laughs> I guess they've had a bad day. 
die. For your next trick, why don't you do something relevant? I'm just digging around with a research desk, finding sticky fingers and lightning strike. Okay. Lightning strike, novel choice. You don't see that all the time. I guess I'll keep more life. Downfall's nice. Use to fairy. Let's draw because of the lightning strike. Now that is an interesting fact. I guess I'll hold it back in case there's a haste creature. The two damage isn't going to matter too much. Make them strike their way through it instead of be able to attack down to fairy easily. Swift spear is a good one though. I mean, they do this stuff in uh, other formats like Pioneer. Probably in modern, not Lightning Strike, but like Lightning Helix. Same play pattern, but they double spelled. So look what we get to do. Oh, they give up. Bye. Don't forget to write. All right, lots of tap lands on the draw. We do have a removal spell, but I don't think the hand is overall very good. You really want to cut down or a life of Toshiro Umezawa on the draw in case absolute nonsense happens. Still all tap lands twice in a row. Gives me bad vibes. There are a ton of tap lands, nine of them in the deck, so it's not the most surprising thing. Well, it's not Thalia. Now we need to dodge our opponent playing um, Peacekeeper. This drag to the bottom does have to hit. Okay, adversary, keep it coming. Keep it coming for drag to the bottom. Keep it coming. Actually, this is a pretty good play, right? But with a drag up my sleeve? If they play a Peacekeeper, though, what will I do? Not much. All right. We're going to play as though Peacekeeper is an option. Even though Peace with Mono White Aggro was never an option. See, if they play a Peacekeeper, we can actually cut it down. Ah, uh, adversary. Okay. Their hand must have Brutal Cathars and stuff like that. Not much else makes sense here. Kill him. Okay. 100% uh, adversaries, got it. But now we have dissipates. We have a useless negate. So we might still get absolutely hosed eventually. So we could let them take this, cut it down, get it back. But then we're just taking four from this adversary. So we got to dissipate here. Also, you really want to get the counter spells cast against the likes of Mono White. There's a go for the throat. I have a stalemate here on board, so we just have to protect it. You don't have to be in a rush to attack the opponent or anything. Hmm. It might have a Ganjo. I guess make him have it. So I'll take the trade. Okay. They had it. It's fine. Let's go for the throat in case we draw Teferi. We'll want to be able to play it. Another Toshiro Umizawa. Let's wait till there's something to kill. There's a lot of one toughness things here and there in Mono White. Peacekeeper. No, thank you. Keep that card. Yeah, I think I hold this. Uh, maybe we just throw it and see if we can hit a Teferi or Shieldred. Okay, that's awesome because we can hit that with cut down. 
you don't always get to cut down an Adeline. Let's take a shot. If we headed to Fairy here, we'll be so happy. On the last card. I think they have Brutal Cathar still, so we're just going to draw. Doesn't mean we have to be overly serious. Another mystery solved. Is that the fourth adversary? Yes, it is. <laughs> of course it is. Let's keep drawing. There is much the past can teach us. I guess we can still hold this and look for if we draw, have two of them, we can kill that adversary. I'm going to cycle now. Ah, look, two of them. So glad. I mean, you drew four of them. I can draw two of these. Or I guess it's the thirds. <laughs> Peacekeeper, why not? And Thalia. Wow. Okay. They're not done yet, are they? Uh, funny play, though. <laughs> Very funny play. Thalia right into the life. So one card left. Is it a Brutal Cathar? I think it really, really, really might be. But we're going to test the theory. is meant to be shared. Oh, it automatically paid. I was wondering... I was wondering. Brutal Cathar? No. Secure the block. Cycle. Plus one, plus one. Got him. Paragon is the last card. Oh boy. I don't know why they didn't play Thalia that time. Big draw on the go for a throat. Keep it coming. We'll hit a silver scrutiny eventually. Come at me, bro. Double block in case of another Aganjo. Or a Wandering Emperor. Keep it up, Teferi. You're doing great. Ah, the fourth life. Of course. We can hold it for a removal spell. Adeline. Silver Scrutiny. There it is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hit it. And of course Auto Tapper made me take an underground river damage. Why wouldn't it? Pick him up. <laughs> Maybe I can do this every turn. One, two... Three, four, five. Yep, bring it back out. Oh, the opponent wants to be the type who plays it out. How about that? You don't get one of those all the time anymore. Now it's definitely time to start making the spirits. Kill the hotshot. Pass the turn. Sarah Paragon again. Dissipate. Go for the throat. Kill them all. Are they actually going to let me do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. It's beautiful. It's everything I could have wanted it to be. Nobody knows the past better than me. Almost lethal. In fact, I had lethal. If I had plus to fairy instead of minusing it, but I was having too much fun. I think it's okay. I think it will be fine. Opponent plays out Thalia. Epic. Who's that handsome devil? How about a little more? Don't want to deck myself. <laughs> Beautiful. Now the opponent doesn't have to contemplate blocking. Oh, that's a beautiful feeling. Sheldon to fairy. You're gonna be best just friends once you get over this whole war of Phyrexian stuff. Uh, we will keep go for the throat tribal. And draw right into an untapped land that we needed. Feels good. Bitter Reunion, draw, uh, discard a card, draw two, enchantment. Okay, reanimator deck located. Those shield counters might be a problem, but this drag to the bottom becomes very good all of a sudden. Whoa, what? Steel Seraph, 3-3 three, three, flying prototype at the beginning of combat on your turn. Creature gains control of flying vigilance or gains a choice of flying vigilance or lifelink. Okay. It's an artifact, so it can't go for its throat. Could be a problem. But we're going to try to buy time and drag stuff to the bottom. I am worried, however, invoke justice uh, tends to make things very large. There's a paragon. Okay, I guess we're dragging to the bottom this coming turn. Looks like an angel deck, actually. Bitter reunion with angels? Mardu colors would let them play the lifelink angel. Dude, if they actually have invoke here, their curve is wild. Absolutely wild. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Unreal. Oh, that's a huge draw. That is amazing. I'm just going to do it now. Don't know what they might have that would prevent it, but just send that to the bottom. Only one in the deck, but that's why it's there. So how many more angels can we take out? Hopefully they're not artifact angels. Enduring angel. Well, there's one. That is hexproof. Well, you gain hexproof. It doesn't. Uh, double strike transforms if you're about to die something like that I would love for them to reanimate that angel if they have another invoke justice that's what I want them reanimating is that angel because I can kill it and then I can kill it again another paragon please stop it's too much value and they can prototype through that yeah, I guess they can. I mean, I keep shooting stuff down. They keep playing more. Cut down. Doesn't take out the this angel, and neither does go for the throat. Let's just draw four. Dissipate doesn't feel good when you're tapped out. Did they do they have another? Like they just drew this raw. The only card advantage they've seen is bitter reunion. 
They just drew this absolutely raw. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that is how you top deck. But what's good for us is they made this a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh no, they gave it haste. Oh, I'm, I'm just dead. I think I'm just dead. Wow. I... Okay. Oh, wow. All right, we go first. We'll put the tower down. Then we'll put the garden down. Then we'll put the Celestis down and we'll figure it out. Full domain available. Harvester. We can cut that down. And we will. All right, curving into Teferi here. Let's see if the opponent puts pressure on the battlefield. Ooh, but my Celestis. It's mean. It's a mean thing to do. How am I supposed to cast Teferi if you're going to do that? So Jund. Jund with Tron, all basics. Good draw. Cuts off whatever they might go for here. And if we top deck the land, we play Teferi on an open board. They dump a Titan. Here we go. Can't wait for them to reanimate that thing. No. This is why counter spells exist. Somebody's got to tell them no. Beautiful. No matter the time or place. I'm ready to win. Mm, yeah, we're ticking up. They have open red mana. Much to consider. They do damage based stuff. Okay, bolt. What else <laughs> you, you got? Me this time? Soul of Wind Grace. We can go for that throat. Just keep ticking. There is much the past can teach us. Man, but can we do it with double blue open? We can, right? Out of there, buddy. Don't know why that was for, so hard for me. The garden almost made my head explode. Maybe I should cut it just for that reason. And you definitely don't have to run it, you at home. You can definitely leave it out. You know, let's dissipate. We could have cut down... No, you can't cut down the tokens too big. So I, yeah, that's the right call. We're supposed to dissipate there. Hmm. Is it time to start making a creature? No. Nah. Draw. <laughs> Drawing so much more fun. Let's hold the life. We might, still might be able to pair it with cut down to kill something we couldn't normally kill there. That is mean. Let's see what the opponent goes for. Probably going to look at my hand. Take my Teferi. Let's see. I guess they want lands in the graveyard for their wind grace, so let's not provide it for them freely. Scrutiny. Love it. It's nice to see a familiar face. Let's see what the opponent gets with Cruelty of Gix here. They're threatening to get a Titan soon, so we have to be ready for all that. But Silver Scrutiny, combined with Teferi and the Teferi Spirit, can do a lot. I hope it's like unleash the inferno. Then just send it straight at Teferi to kill it. But they've picked a card. The card is burn down the house. I thought it might be that. It's too bad I can't save Teferi here. Another scrutiny. Oh, you're a feisty dance partner. 
Feisty dance partner? What are these lines? <laughs> I guess this can get a Teferi back. Good enough for me to hold it. Mm. Let's do it again. Put the same pressure on them. All right, here comes a Titan. Let's see what they pick. If they pick shield counter, we can go for hero's downfall now, but they know that. So maybe they won't. They I do pick the shield counter. I wonder if they just have another cruelty to get it right back. All right. Let him have it. Teachings, you got it. Sheldra too. Woo! It's a lot. Okay, the Sheldred's gotta go. But then we can do the cycle. Hit drag. Love that. Hit the untapped land. Make another one. Who's that handsome devil? And to the moon. Now attacking with the 10 10 here, they double block. We break the shield counter, we kill the 4-4. Four four. But I don't think it's worth it. Let's drop off some rivers. See how the opponent handles this very large board from a Demir control deck that doesn't even play Hullbreaker Horror. Yep, we done. Feels real good. Absolutely feels good. All right, removal and card draw. Cool. Do we give him the Yorgo? <laughs> Especially for mono red. Uh, I guess I should have cut down ready. Uh, although, might not be able to hit anything. So I guess I'll play the tap land. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go for the throat here because whatever they play will be too big for cut down. Yep. 4-2. All right, spot removal tribal. Let's go. We're ready for you, Mono Red. But are we? They have infinite creatures. only two lands. So that means everything else is a spell. <laughs> oh, they make me so salty. Okay. What else you got? Okay, that has to go. And without damage. I guess I will go for the cut down here. Go for the throat, take a damage here. And since everything is haste, they're getting in plenty of damage this way, but that Celestis draw might be huge. A little bit of life off that can make a huge difference. Please stop. Need to drag to the bottom bad. Trigger. There's a drag. Get rid of the scrutiny. It's too slow. I know I might cast it this turn, but I think I'm just going to use the downfall anyway because things like this happen.
What do you think? Can we hold off on drag? Or are we just gonna die if we don't? Yep, let's make him have more. Make him have it. Oh look, it's got haste. Welcome to Haste City. Population this chick. Cut down, awesome. Here's Teferi. You know they have a lightning strike. Let's draw. Stay out of range. Dissipate, okay. Cut down the chick because now we'll flip it back to day. Gain that life, draw that card. Uh-huh, play the fire, big surprise. Let's to the bottom, love to see it. Another Teferi? Nope. As much as I love it, it's enough five mana investment for one game. And they didn't kill it. Drag can go now that we have the Dissipate ready. All right, now we can do this. It's nice to see a familiar face. Because we're not casting a spell. All right, if they're using play with fire there, that's fine. It's not at our face. And Teferi keeps ticking up. Let's just decline. We love what we have here. Oh, wait, if we do it, we... To fairy loyalty, my bad. Could have had an extra. I have been playing Magic for like 14 hours, so you gotta give me a break on this one. Do it again. I've got eyes everywhere. Flip it back again. <laughs> Keep on coming. Sure. I love it. All day. Celestis to fairy. Nice team up. Yep. Had a feeling that was your last card. Predictable mono red. Very predictable. It's nice to see a familiar face. Oh, good game. You done? Don't leave. We're just getting started. Yep. Mono red, you don't get mythic on my watch.